Today I am here, kind of standing inside of a plant, to show you this kind of a cool display that I found in a piano store. I've seen these around before, but I've never done a video on them, and so I thought I'd do one here. It's not a playable piano, obviously, it's all exploded, but it's kind of cool to see the inside workings of the piano, and obviously this company has went to great lengths to show their customers the inside of what a piano and all the different components. And so uh, it's kind of funny, the leg back here is at a funny angle, it's just kind of there. Um, we have the rim, of course, and then down here we have a leg that's just kind of hanging out there. And then uh, we have the inner rim as well. And you can even see the support braces that would be here for the inside rim. And you can see all the different layers and laminates of, uh, of wood that they use to, uh, they, they steam it and then they bend it into shape. Uh, and then it preserves the, uh, the shape of the piano rim. Uh, this is made by the manufacturer of Nordiska. I'm not sure they're still around uh, anymore, but they've, they've been around and I've actually played one of their concert grants. I don't remember if I did a video on it, but you could probably check and see if I did on the uh, channel there. And then under here, there's a big black chunk of metal that I assume is a real support beam that would go inside of the piano. It could be something to do with this exploded display, but I think it would actually be inside of a real Nordiska piano. Now this big silver metal brace here is simply just for the display. You wouldn't find that in a real piano. But then up here we have your soundboard. And uh, you can even see the ribs underneath of the soundboard that would actually be there in a real piano. So they basically just took a piano's components and just kind of blew them up and put them in this, uh, this little array here to show customers what the inside of a piano looks like. And uh, you can even kind of see the... Uh, the crown of the soundboard, if you look at the top of the, the rib and follow it down, you can see that it kind of arcs. And that is the crown of the soundboard, which helps uh, really uh, amplify the sound of a piano. And it's kind of cool. Uh, you can really see it down here with the uh, big, big one, the big rib there, the big long one. So it's pretty cool. And then of course on top of the soundboard we have the bridges which are mounted on top. And then these are the uh, little bridge pins that the strings would run through. and. Uh, Pretty neat. Yeah, that's cool. And then right above it, of course, we have the harp. It's a very unusual color. It's like a pinkish, kind of salmony, orange color. I don't, I'm not sure I've ever seen that color on a piano harp before. Usually they're a gold color, of course. Sometimes I think, uh, what's that company? The German company. Um, can't think of the name now. What is it? But they, they have like an orange kind of, uh, they have kind of an orange color harp sometimes on their pianos. And uh, there's the Nordiska logo again in the middle of the soundboard. It's kind of hidden behind the, uh, the harp there. And uh, here is where all the tuning pins would go in, of course. They'd go into the pin block, which I'm sure is right... Oh, is there no... I guess there's a pin block. Yeah, it's not as thick as I thought it would be. But there's a pin block right underneath, and the tuning pins would go down inside of there. And then down here at the end, we have a few bass strings that are mounted on there, just to show, uh, you know, how that works. And then, of course, we have the final uh, part of the piano, which, of course, is the action. I can't really play it, because it's just hitting the harp, but it is a fully functioning, working action. And uh, it's kind of cool. It's a really, I wonder, it's a really, really cool display. And then right up here is their... Uh, the, the model number of this piano, what it actually would be, GNF 1004. So that is what this piano actually is. It's a G Nordiska GNF 1004, but it's all blown up into pieces so you can see what the inside is like, which is pretty cool. So here we are looking at the action of the exploded Nordiska display, and uh, you can see it's kind of cool because they've left it all open, so you can just look right in there and see all the different action parts, which of course are completely functional. The red things here with the pins coming through, these are the bushings, and the keys basically rest against them, and when you play the key, they go up and down. And so if you, if you have your piano at home, you can take the key and kind of try to move it side to side and see how much slop there is. These keys here are actually pretty tight, but you can see that they do wiggle a little bit, which is pretty normal, but if your key really has a out of slop and it kind of flops back and forth, that means that your bushings are too loose. And I'm actually thinking about getting the bushings replaced on my Steinway D um, as well. And uh, so these are the bushings and they're little pieces of felt that are set into holes and then these pins run through them and keep the keys in place. Underneath here we have all of the action components and all of these are completely adjustable as well. You can see down here there's these holes in the, uh, the little metal supports there and those can be turned and rotated which uh, can adjust the way the action feels. And up here as well there's a special tool that is used to get inside of those holes and turn these pieces as well. 
So it's pretty cool to see the action. Everybody loves to look at a piano action when it's being played. And I've had lots of, when, I, when I'm playing an upright piano at like a thrift store or something, I've had lots of little kids look inside of the top and I'll go, whoa, it's so cool to see the action moving. So it's kind of cool that they left this open because it would probably, probably make a lot of kids very fascinated with uh, the piano to see all those pieces inside when they play. And, uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed this video. It's uh, not my usual thing. Usually I review pianos that are actually playable, but this one here is not playable. It's just really unusual. And uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, I have lots of videos on my channel of completely playable pianos that you can go check out if you like. And uh, if you think that sounds cool, you might want to think about subscribing. And if you do that, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.